We're still here with Speed 3D, and I got Jim Monroe over here. And it looks like Jim has some parts that their wonderful machine we just looked at a few minutes ago made. So you want to describe some of these? Absolutely. So uh, we, we participated in the, the Reptex Enable trials, and uh, one of the scenarios was the, the FLIR uh Camera, the FLIR camera cover had, took ba had taken battle damage and the cover was destroyed. So we were able to uh, go up, take some measurements of the actual uh, the mount and, and print this in just over two hours. Um, and we incorporated the build plate into it and slid it right on and, and, and it fit and it showed the capability of being able to print you know, parts of consequence, large parts, very quickly. Um, several of these other parts uh, we printed um, we've been doing trials with the Australian Defense Forces for, you know, the past four years in conjunction, and a lot, uh, you know, the Marine Corps has participated in that uh, as well. These are battery terminals for, for Humvees. We were able to print these in, in three minutes. So, you know, off the machine, we'll do a little bit of deburring and, and polishing, but typically they don't do that. They'll just drill two holes and, and, and slot them on. Um, this is a a, a, a cap for another uh, another vehicle. Um, these caps kept breaking off, and the uh, bearings were getting all sorts of grit and dirt in there, and it was obviously causing the bearings to be destroyed. So they printed these out in the field, bolted them on, solved the problem right at the point of need. So uh, th this technology, it's very fast, it's very efficient, uh, it solves logistical problems, part obsolescence, right at the point of need. It's pretty amazing. I see we got some nice wrenches down here and looks to be the anchor of one of the world's smallest battleships over here, perhaps from the battleship game, possibly. Yeah, so actually this this is uh, quite a significant part. So as, as far as we know, this is the first um, metal part printed actually on board a U.S. naval vessel. Um, yeah, and we, we, we printed an anchor. So we printed five others uh, on the ship. We printed five on land. Um, and we have them out right now for uh, inspection. But so far, everything looks great the in, in terms of tolerance, dimensional accuracy, mechanical strength. They look spot on. Um, and we're also able to, these wrenches here, give kind of a good example of the capabilities our machine provides. So these, these wrenches are used as sort of as cam locks, right, to tighten fire hoses, right, to, on, on board the ship. So they came to us. They said, we need, we, we need this wrench. So we were able to print one in, in 15 minutes get it to them um, so they had were able to uh, do the tightening and then while they were you know doing that we printed a second did the heat treatment machined it as well and gave them a permanent tool so this was sort of a temporary just to get them through and then this was a, a final part that's pretty darn amazing in my book and you know this reminds me of my home state Rhode Island where the emblem is the anchor <laughs> and with that yeah Jim, it's been nice talking to you. Cheers. Yeah, thank Cheers you. to you. Have a great day. Thank you. Speed 3D, thank you.